Hey everyone, Tyler here with Gilded Reviews. Today I wanted to take a look at the website Green Man Gaming. If you don't know, Green Man Gaming, or GMG for short, is an online store that sells keys which can be used to activate games through Steam and PlayStation 4. These website reviews are something I've wanted to do for a while, and when GMG approached me for their ambassador program, I thought this would be a great place to start. The ambassador program is their basic affiliate system where I might be able to make a little cash referring people to their website. This sounded great to me but I had some concerns. For one, I wanted to make sure they were legitimate, or if they were another G2A type of company trying to screw over small developers. And two, what did they offer that would pull me, or someone else for that matter, away from Steam? I would never want to promote something that hurt consumers and indie developers. So I headed over to Google to do some research. What I found was pretty much in line with what I thought. Negative press over a couple non-issue events like misunderstandings and poorly executed promotional emails painted them as bad guys, when in reality they have put a ton of work into the community and have spent a good deal of time and money connecting small developers with consumers. They have their own publishing team that works directly with indie developers, and they have over 700 verified publishers who supply them with keys. Green Man Gaming is even in business with Intel and Lenovo if that helps ease anyone's mind. Honestly, they seem a lot like Humble Bundle, and as long as they're not like G2A, I'm okay with it. Most of the arguments I see against Green Man Gaming are unsound and hold little water, but I am always trying to get the right information. So if anyone has had a bad experience with GMG or just want to share what they have learned, please let us know down in the comments. Anyhow, let's move on to my second concern. What does it offer people that Steam does not? And if there are any issues that would prevent people from shopping there? First, let's go over some of the issues I have found. The return policy isn't great. Once you activate a key, it's yours. So be sure it's a game that will not only run on your computer, but is something you know you will want to keep. This does not extend to broken keys, or if something has gone wrong with the transaction. From what I can tell, their customer service is pretty decent, and they want to keep you around, so if it's something that they can help you with, they absolutely will. The last little annoyance I had stemmed from a lack of reviews, but it started growing on me after a while. Steam has a pretty decent review system, but it definitely has its faults, especially with review bombing or people just idiotically reviewing a game without taking the time to play it and understand it. You don't really get that here. Many of the games simply don't have user reviews, or they only have one or two. Let's just say it might require you to jump over to Steam to check out what people think. This isn't terrible though, since it lets you check and make sure it's still cheaper on GMG, and Steam hasn't thrown that game on their midweek madness sale. Now we can get to the good stuff. The reason I would recommend checking out GMG. The sales, the bundles, the community, and the information provided about individual games. Well, minus those reviews. As you can see, the GMG sale is currently active. So this isn't what it typically looks like. With that being said, they still offer some great sales year round. And it's easy to find games that are a little more discounted than their Steam counterparts. As a little side note, I will be releasing a video soon showcasing the GMG Summer Sale to let you guys know what games I think are worth picking up. The bundles are very similar to the bundles found on Fanatical. They are on a fairly steep discount, offering you $60 to $100 of games for a few bucks. From what I can tell, these games are not up to the quality of a Humble Bundle, but the price is significantly cheaper. Moving on to the community, which was something that caught me off guard. It goes deeper than forums too. They have news sections, game hubs, blogs, and a small review area that lists the staff's favorite games for each major genre. It's surprisingly nice and makes GMG a decent outlet for discussions and news updates. I know Steam has similar features, but with a smaller community and a focus on design, GMG's community hub is much more fun to navigate. And lastly, my favorite thing about GMG so far is the massive amount of information available for each game. When I first noticed this, I was ecstatic. They have Twitch streams, average playtime, game completion rate, and even completed achievement percentages. There is also this mini Steam chart showing the number of players each game has, and it can further be broken down by hour, day, and month. All of this information can help people really decide what game is best for them. Overall, Green Man Gaming seems like a great source for cheap Steam games, and their selection is growing. I know I personally will be using it in the future, especially when I am out hunting deals. 
Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If anyone would like to help this channel out by clicking on the affiliate link down below, I would really appreciate it. I will also be going through and making videos for Humble Bundle, G2A, GOG, or any other website that fits into this category. Anyhow, thanks again everyone, have a great night, and I will see you next time.